From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. The national champs hmm. began their quest for a repeat this morning. And I'm Anna Trullo. Jeff Picoro also joins us to talk football. And we'll talk with Deputy, Deputy Athletic Director Mark Hill about the COVID protocols put in place at Kroger Field. Yeah, but we have to get started with the volleyball team who opened its season this morning in Dayton, Ohio. That is tonight's big blue story. A brand new starting lineup for Craig Skinner after it's been for the most part set in stone the last couple of years. Freshman Eleanor Bevan and Emma Grome joined sophomores Reagan Rutherford. Elise Getzinger and Rhea Walker, junior Azani Teeler and national championship game hero, senior Ali Stummer. Girl. Well, yeah, a lot younger group for Craig Skinner this time around, but they are talented. And they beat Texas State this morning, a team that did receive votes in the preseason ABCA poll. Cats took the match 3-0, 25-18, 25-7, and 25-14. At one point in match two, the Cats scored 13 straight points and just an absolutely dominant showing. No surprise, Ali Stumler led the team in kills with 13. And just before they left for Dayton yesterday, the team met with the media. Coach Skinner and Azani Teeler talked about embracing the pressure of being the champs. Certainly better than the alternative. You know, I mean, we put ourselves in position to, for teams to, to come after us and, and compete against us, and that's the way we were when we were last in the SEC, you know, prior to 05. We wanted to challenge those teams who were at the top. And, and you know, we, we maybe overuse this in our line in our program, but pressure's a privilege, and, and we get the opportunity to have a target on our back. And, and so um, it, it's motivating. You know, we always say there's someone's chasing. We're chasing somebody, and someone's always chasing us, so we can't ever be satisfied. And, and this is, you know, another one of those opportunities. I think it's really cool that now more than ever, we're going to get everyone's best every night. We're never going to have a night off. And like I said earlier, that's why you come to a place like this to compete at that level every night. So... It's better than the latter, like Craig said. Um, that's we're looking forward to it. Every night we're going to get everyone's 110 percent, so it's going to be fun to compete at that level. The volleyball team is actually playing its second match of the year right now against Dayton over on ESPN, trying to get two real quality wins on the first day of the season. New season, new game day policy at Kroger Field. UK released COVID-19 guidelines for football games earlier this week. I had the chance to catch up with Deputy Athletics Director Mark Hill to talk about what those rules are and what it will be like to have a full capacity stadium for the first time since 2019. All right, Mark, lots of excitement this season. How excited are you to open Kroger Field at full capacity with a brand new offensive coordinator and a super talented roster? It feels like there hasn't been that much excitement around the program in years, and a full crowd gets to see it. Yeah, we're very excited to have everyone back in Kroger Field this year at full capacity. Um, you know, we've won three bowl games in a row, and we've been to five bowl games in the last five years, so we're excited to get the energy back in the stadium and, and get our student athletes on the field and get to a point where we're tailgating, having catwalks and all of those type of things. So it's an exciting time of year for us for sure. Now the new COVID-19 guidelines and game day policies have been released for Kroger Field. Walk us through those. Yeah, we are following all of the campus and local guidelines. So we will be having masks required in our indoor spaces, but the beauty of college football is we're outside for 90% of what we do. And so we will make sure that the health and safety of the community members and those around us, both in the campus and the city of Lexington and the state of Kentucky are taken care of and we're doing our part, but we will do what we can to make sure our student athletes and our staff are keeping their distance from everyone, but then everyone else can sit back and enjoy the ball game and Hopefully the, the weather is cooperative, which it looks like it's going to be for Saturday, September 4th. Now, UK is kind of in the middle between LSU, who is requiring proof of vaccination and negative COVID tests, and Georgia, who has no mandates. I know you mentioned that you're kind of following the school guidelines. Did anything else go into making those decisions? So we've been, in the last 20 months of the pandemic, we've been really following and mirroring step by step with campus. And so the decisions really happen above us. We do have input. We have the ability to, to give our thoughts and feelings about how things should work and look around our events and our spaces. But to say we had a ton of, a ton of input is, is not necessarily correct, but we will continue to do everything we can to support our local leaders. Already the mask enforcement, you mentioned that they will be required in indoor spaces. Could you tell us a little, about, a little bit about where those are and how it will be enforced? 
Yeah, there's not very many indoor spaces here at Kroger Field, um, which is nice. That'll be helpful. You know, the general patron will enter their, their gate the way they normally do, and they'll enter their portal or their tunnel, and they'll move right to their seat. Um, there are some spaces, such as, for example, where you guys, the media, enter, where you'll be inside for a brief period of time before you get to your locations. And so there's a lot of pass-through spaces like that that we'll have to ask people to mask up, but it won't affect the general patron much at all. Arnie, you haven't hosted a full crowd, full capacity since 2019. Is it going to be like riding a bike or is it going to take some time getting used to putting it all together again? It, you know, we've done it for years here at Kroger Field and, and at the University of Kentucky. So there's pieces of it that are like riding a bike and they're plug and play. Um, but there's a lot of things that are new. For example, we're going we're to continue to stay with mobile ticketing. That's something we started during the pandemic. Um, the mobile ticketing piece we've found is very secure, something that the patrons can, can really most everybody doesn't leave the home without their phone and so to be able to upload their tickets do that early arrive early um, i know there's some people that do have some angst and some concern but that's one of the big pieces we're going to maintain during the pandemic but everything else is ready to go um, this is a busy place over the next seven to ten days when everything has to come together on the cleanliness side and the preparation side but um, it's an exciting time it's it feels like college again the, the students are back and the, the people are working to get the stadium ready so exciting all right mark good luck we're getting close to game time Thank you very much. We look forward to having everyone out. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, we have a special look ahead to this year's, uh, this Saturday's hour-long football season preview special. That's right here for Mark Stoops, Liam Cohen, and Brad White after the break.